Oh, the week is over. The week is done. You have made it. You're number one. So are we. So am I. As uh, Japan, probably. It's your Friday GeoGuessr. How are we doing? So the thing I've noticed is I don't see many Japanese flags in Japan. Maybe it's just the areas I go to, I don't see them. Well, maybe it's not that common a thing. Now, I have no idea where this is, and I don't know if I'm actually going to find anything that's going to tell me otherwise, because I can't read Japanese. I think that's N-O, but that's about the extent of what I remember from all those years I took <clears throat> of Japanese. Um, anyway, thanks for that tip. I forget exactly who you said it, but you know who you are who told me that it's not a street sign that is actually on a building. Who told me uh, a certain North African uh, countries are not part of GeoGuessr, like Libya. Strangely enough, uh, Egypt. I don't know. For some reason, I thought Egypt would have been in it, but it's not. Before I forget, I'm going to uh, put this here. And just put a click. Well, we're next to the ocean, which is the entire country. Uh, I guess we'll do like um, here. I have nothing, no idea where this is. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to know. Other than, well, we see land. This tells me, again, nothing. So I'm going to stop trying to deduce. Although that seems really weird that they have Greek here. Interesting. Is this like the Greek embassy? It can't be. Why do I think it's weird that they would have summer homes? People would have summer homes in Japan. I don't know. Like, Greek people owning a house in Japan to summer there. Seems weird to me. I have no reason to think that. It's just these two... Isalibidoli. Isalibidoli. See, I can kind of sound like I speak the language. If I do the R's, are kind of like L's. And again, Java just on time. They have a squid thing. I don't know what highway this is. Does it say? Route 278. Well, if I know anything about Japanese roads is they like saying the same number over and over again. The problem is... No, 276. It's not 278, but it's close. And I click here and it's going to be... No, actually it's on the other side of the country, you guessed. Terribly. Because I have not found the specific number. I like to think it's up here, but I'm going to go do this and uh, go down like to here. Yeah, and they, again, numbers are, there's no like separation. They can't use the same number more than once. Uh, but anyway. As I sit here and still don't know where we are. But 30 seconds left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, this sign may help. This sign may help. No. Not in any way. Unless I can know Taichi Machisi Mizaki. And I'm not going to. So I'm going to stick with it up here. And in 10 seconds I'll see how much I'm not right. So I did mention, did I start this a week ago or two weeks ago? Either way, um, that I played a little bit of, oh, I did have the island right at least. Um, where is this? Australia? I don't know. I have been playing a bit of uh, Red Dead, and I have this problem. Well, this may not be what I think it is. Uh, what do we got here? Hmm. Nagami Land Chest Root. Nope. That doesn't help me. Uh, I have been playing Red Dead, and I go through this problem quite a bit when I play uh, any open world games. I don't really play many of them. Things like The Witcher. Um, I didn't play the last... Uh, Gran Turismo. 
Grand Theft Auto. Poteti River. I do not know where that is. I didn't know if I was like psyching you guys out that I was zooming in directly on a certain country. I no, I don't know where this is yet. Uh where I play it for I did the same thing with Red Dead and maybe San Andreas. I played for like two hours and then I just never played it again. Now I don't know why. Like I have this issue of uh maybe I'll do it and then just uh a little ways into it, I'm just like, yeah, I could play it, or I could just not do anything. And I kind of go through the spurts, fits and spurts like that. And this game isn't much different. I mean, granted, I've been playing it a bit longer, but <clears throat> I'm almost at the point now where it's been maybe three, four days, maybe five, since I played it last. And I should probably play it again. It's just like, eh. It'll come back around to me. I mean, there's other people who are just like 100% obsessed with it. Any games like that, they find the game that's like their jam and they're just like all about it. Nah, I'm not so much that myself. I'm not going to get any closer because I do this. You probably flew right. No, you we. Um, oh, you're passing me. I need you to get closer. Okay. Nagami Land District, Ministry of Agriculture in Botswana. Okay. So I did have Botswana right. The only problem is uh, Boteti River, huh? Is this the Boteti? Because you got a weird little design to you. It makes me think you're a river. Limpopo. Heard that before. Um, I don't think we're on a border, though. Are we near the water here? Raco that's not a river. Give me river name. It's not a river. Oh, I gotta pick, uh, I'll just do there for now until I find a, uh, closer potential river. Boteti? Boteti, come on. <clears throat> oh shit, I found it. We cross the Bo Boteti River, which could be like here. I'm gonna hit home. And. We were. I'm going to go this way to see if this is actually a uh, civilization. I doubt it will be. Uh, back up a bit. But I always feel like I, I listen to people talk about it when I'm at work, and then uh, the second I, I'm, I'm listening, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go home and play it. And then when I get home, I'm just like, I don't need to. Same dupe. Man, my fan is going nuts. Again, <laughs> I think I'm close enough. I mean, I don't know how long this river goes for. I've never heard of the Boteti before, but I'm just happy I found it. I'm not that far off. And I get home and I'm just like, nah. But I had played it's like I, uh, that magic game, Magic the Gathering, that just came out online maybe a month ago at this point. Um, I've really had zero experience with... Um, Hmm. I've had like zero experience with magic. Like I bought a physical pack of magic cards a very long time ago and I traded it for is this actually Poland? I don't know. I traded it for NBA Live ninety five? I don't remember exactly. All I know is that... I'm just going to click here because it could be in this area too. Is that it was on the first PlayStation and it was back when PlayStation games still came out in those giant rectangular boxes. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're too young. Um, Google it. You'll see what I mean. Um, but they did really... They did a couple of smart things with this game. The, the, the Magic game. They at least... Um, recognize that the canal um, that doesn't help me so much that you have like th they did at least one quick smart thing for people who've never done magic before it's like you play for a little bit they give you some cards and is this like an airport or a racetrack and um you win a couple of games or play x amount or do a certain thing kind of like if you play ever played uh hearthstone they have like 
daily goals, whatever you want to call it. This is a racetrack, I think. Oh, this fan is driving me nuts. I got to clean it. Um, yeah, you play for a while. They give you sets, uh, Slovakia. So it was. So I did get that right. Okay, whatever. We'll go with that. And you play for a while. They give you sets. And they're like, oh, okay. So this these cards are around this type of theme. And then it kind of sets you up with like, okay, so you have different concepts within... Um, hmm. World Touring Car Champ. This looks fun. I want to go to this. Get me in there. But they, they have like archetypes of different things. For like, hey, you play this way with this deck. And they give you like, you keep playing, you keep giving you new ones, different ones to keep trying out until you find one you like. And uh, you're like, oh, that's handy that they have. They give you like six, maybe eight decks when you've gone through all of the steps of the beginning of the game and uh i want to go to this and then you can just mess around with them playing against other people to see if uh you find one that clicks and works with you and uh i found one and they do give you just like with most other games a ability to um you can buy packs obviously it's a card game they would have to do that shit and uh, you can get these, like, different tiered... I think they're called wild cards in the game, where you can trade it in for any card that you need. And uh, when you first start out, they give you a ton by the time you end. Um, the only thing that I can suggest, if you're looking to do, get into this, is don't spend all those right off the bat. Mess around with all the decks they give you till you find out find out something that actually interests you, and then look to do that. Because I made the mistake of uh, kind of just doing it willy nilly, and I didn't see a interesting. Oh, it's a race course, Slovakia Ring, huh? Okay. Like I found a deck that I liked, but the problem is I already had thrown a bunch of uh, my free card things into um things i didn't need for this deck and then the only way you can really do it is yeah you can kind of sometimes grind it out they give you every sunday at resets for every five games you win up to 15 so you get a total of three packs free but um in those packs you get a chance of getting any different level wild cards or whatever you want to call it and those are handy but when you want to build a like a second or a third deck you want to mess around with other stuff um no dice. It's a bit harder to grind for those couple of cards you need. Well, they spell school with a K. It's a human school, which begs some other questions. What other things do they teach here besides people? Uh, the barbed wire is facing inwards, which trying to keep the kids in the building. Whatever. I don't know where this is. I am not confident in any of this. Can I go down this road? No. Okay, fine. Um, can I go down there? I cannot. Fine. So, I don't know if you ever had interest. There's a plenty of other, like, on-colliding card games that aren't... I'm sure there's hardcore ones. I don't know. I've only really played the one. Well, and Hearthstone as well, but... That's kind of been the extent of it. Where is the... Ooh, there's a sign. This may help. Well, no. Asla construction does not help me. Because you don't... I mean, there's... Eng they say stop. It's an English... Okay. Actually, this way may help. Uh, sign. There was on that... S nope. Give me back here. Okay. New a member. No, that doesn't help me. Okay, I gotta make a decision just yet. I, hmm, what? This is either Africa or this is South America or Central America. Don't know which yet. Oh, God. Hmm, is this South African? Uh, maybe I'll, like, click here for now. Hmm. 
I don't know. Because this feels like it could. Arts and Crafts Center, this used. Yeah, I think this is South Africa. Uh, give me a URL. Give me an URL, please. Oh, you blurred it. You blurred it too well. I got a minute to try to find something else here. Um, ooh, ooh, what's this? El Friday's Cafe in Vegan Meaties. Wagnami Teas. I, I don't know. Ooh, flag, flag, flag. Okay, yeah, South Africa. Freyersburg. It's a tiny enough town that I don't think I'm going to find it. Freyersburg. This is 100% stabbing in dark. I don't know if I'm going to find it. On group Mariko. Hmm. Newcastle, nothing. Yeah, but in that month, I mean, I still played Dota. I should stop playing that, but for some reason, I keep wanting to keep play it. And I don't know, maybe that's the game that I just just can't quit it. Where everyone's got the thing that they play quite a bit, and I don't know. It's I still play a little bit of it. Well, it was on the other side of the country. Whatever. I'll take it. And we are Retorno. Um, get me over here. Sao Paulo. Sao... Hmm. Sao Pedro. Is this... South... I mean, Brazil. Sao Pedro. I don't think this is Portugal. There's Sao Paulo, but that's not Sao Pedro. There's Sao Luis. Um, Correador. Hmm. Can I get a highway sign on here? Um, actually, if we remember anything from... Oh, this is probably Brazilian Highway 392, so this isn't going to help me so much. 392. I got to try to find that. This is going to be difficult. Very difficult. I got a decent score going, and a lot of it is going to ride on this. I really shouldn't invest so much in this, I think, but I, I've kind of latched onto this compulsion to do this, so I'm, like, invested this much that I need to see it through, at least. 386. Um, <clears throat> okay, we're in Uruguay, so at least we've got the south there. I have not seen 392. I found U 392. And we're looking for, what was it, Sal? It's not Sepe. Was 392 still here? 392 ends at Santa Maria. Does it? I think so. Um, let's get up to this sign here. What does this say? Villa Quinta. I'm going to keep pretending I can say these words. Well, it disappears to 471, like right here. Which now makes me feel like this isn't it, but... I don't know. Hmm. Let me hit home again. I'm going to try to see what this says again. Give me over here. Sao Pedro. None of these are Sao Pedro's. Is it anywhere around here? Am I just missing it? Oh, Sao Pedro de Sul. Maybe? If I, like, click up here? Hmm. Was there Correo door. It would make me feel a little bit more confident, but I think I've kind of put all my basket. My basket has some eggs in it, and it's all this one. Having a, this is actually one of the more higher quality uh, Brazil ones in the sense that it's actually got like highway signage. So good on them. But 30 seconds is a sign. Porto 
Novo. Do I see Pelotas is 37, so we're like down here. And then Porto Alegre is, yep, okay. So, um, hmm, Porto Novo is Prado. That's not it. Uh, I think I'm close enough. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take all that. No complaints there. Other than this goes by so fast, folks. Another week down. Another day living. Defying the odds. You did it. Congratulations. I'm still doing it. Hope you are too. But in the meantime, thank you all. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. You know all the stuff everyone tells you to do. I'm telling you to do it too. Any tips, tricks, hints, suggestions for things you want me to talk about at any time. Or other playlists you want me to try. I'm um, all ears here. So I uh, hope you have a good weekend. I'm going to try because I don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, but here's the hoping. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you real soon.